My name is Stephen Brugerhoff. I'm on the board of, the, of my chapter of the Native Plant Society of Texas here in Williamson County. I'm here tonight to talk about butterfly gardening in Central Texas. Uh, the mission of the, of the uh, Native Plant Society of Texas is partially outreach as well as education about a lot of our native flora. It's all one big network. And so we talk about plants primarily, but we also talk about the animals that inter interact with them how they're involved with the health of our uh, environment, as well as our, uh, our responsibility and involvement with that network as well. We're all a part of that large network. My job is, as far as outreach uh, for the uh, Native Plant Society, is to let people know that we are part of that whole ecosystem, that we're not separate from it. My talk about butterflies of uh, Central Texas, I like to involve uh, people tell them a little bit about the uh, insects that they'll be looking at, butterflies in this case, as well as the plants that uh, they like to predate, whether they're nectar plants or host plants, meaning caterpillars feed on those plants to grow and become adult butterflies. So I'll talk a little bit about that and what people can do as far as, uh, I'll give them different tips for designing in the yard, what they can do as far as attracting those particular insects. We know butterflies from monarch butterflies, certainly, but there's a whole lot of different uh, butterflies that we, we can be introduced to through talks like this. I'll be focusing on a, a lot of different butterflies in Central Texas. Monarchs are certainly a big part of that, but I'd like people to explore the other uh, beautiful insects that we'll see that they can attract to their yards as well. So I'll be talking about a whole lot of different butterflies tonight in a one hour time period. We encourage folks to be involved with their local uh, community service organizations like the Native Plant Society of Texas. We have our own website. You can go to the state website at uh, www.npsotnipsot.org. That's short for Native Plant Society of Texas. Within that uh, state website, you can find your local um, your local chapter, uh, Williamson County, for instance, you can go to that, uh, find that on there and get to our website. We have all sorts of activities that we're involved with, as well as other outreach programs like this. Uh, you can get information from that. You can become a member if you so choose. We have other programs that we're involved with, like uh, small grant uh, funding for schools, for creating schoolyard habitats, as well as a, a small funding program uh, through the state chapter where we're trying to increase uh, uh, exposure to monarch butterflies and get people to create monarch butterfly way stations uh, to, to increase those populations and help out where we can. We have a, a grant program for, uh, for school teachers to, uh, build, to help them to build uh, uh, schoolyard habitat uh, uh, gardens, whether it's, we, we focus on uh, ecosystem gardens, so native plant gardens. Um, we're not specific to, to those needs. We just see where there is a need, ask those teachers to, uh, to apply for that grant. We also uh, are involved with the, uh, the grant can go towards the establishment of a garden or it can go towards uh, buying s seeds to establish that garden, so either plants or seeds themselves. They would apply for those grants to the Native Plant Society of Texas. Uh, yes, I've got another uh, uh, program that I'll be talking here at the Round Rock Public Library in August. It'll be about water conservation.